What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel once again. So the other day I got sent this new infrared module from Xtool and this is one of their newer lasers that I'm super excited about trying out as they say it engraves all sorts of different metals. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna test this out and see how this works. So stick around. So let's get this all opened up and let's see what's inside. Nice little manual. So from looking at this manual, it looks like all we're going to have to do is remove the cable and install it on the new one, and that's it. So I'll go ahead and I'll get the 20 watt laser module taken off and install this new one. Here you can see the difference in size comparison. So I do have different material to try this out on. I have some aluminum. This is just solid copper. So I'll get these all tested out. I also do have some zinc I'll be trying out, some steel, some stainless steel, all sorts of different metals. So let's jump right into light burn. Let's get this set up and let's see how this works. So the power cord that it came with is exactly the same one as the one that I already had for the whole X-Tool machine with the 20 watt. But if you don't have the 20 watt module or you have a different one, a lower wattage, you will want to use uh, the new supplied power cord to make sure that there's enough power going to the machine and the laser. So I'll get this all plugged in, turned on, and let's try a sample piece. So for this first test, I'll just be using a piece of this aluminum that I have. So I'll get this all focused, set up, and we'll see how this will engrave. So in order to focus this laser, there is a lever on the side to measure how high you need it. Now I did find that the height of this isn't exactly correct. So I do have to adjust this slightly just to make it so you see the little white light because right now you see that it's this red light. And now I, when I go and I hit fire and you'll see that this dot right here will turn to a brighter white once I raise it up. So I have it turned on and now when I raise this and you can hear that sound. And you can hear it change. And you can see I actually made a little mark and this is only at 1% power on here. So I found that the only way to get this to the correct focus was not with this lever on the side, it was actually with this little ingot that I have, which is exactly the height that I need it at, which is approximately 20 millimeters. So all I have to do is set it right underneath and I can lower it to where it's right on top. Tighten it up and now I have it focused. And here you can see the difference that it actually is. It hits it so it's not quite focused properly with this lever. So I'll go ahead and I'll run this test over here in light burn on this gears little blueprint type thing that I found online. So I'll test this out and I do have this running at a speed of 1000 millimeters per minute and the power is set to 100% power. I do have constant mode turned on and that is it. So I will get this all framed up. I'll go ahead and hit start and we'll see how this works. So let's take a look and see how that turned out. And I think that turned out great. You can see how precise these lines are and how tiny they are. It's hard to get a good focus in. 
But yeah, I think that worked out fantastic. That's not coming off. That's, that's etched in there. All right, let's try some other stuff. So I'm not going to bore you with all sorts of different things. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to get these tested. I'm going to show everything. I'll run some time lapse and then we'll come back after I get all that done. And then we'll take a look at this and see how it all turned out and go from there. So I have finished doing a whole lot of tests on different materials and that's what I'm going to show you right now. So first I'm just going to show the aluminum test that I did and I'll zoom in here and see if I can get this a little bit better. So here you can see the power scale test and on this one I did this at 0.1 interval and this side I did at 0.5 interval. So you can see the color difference that it produced going all the way from speed 100 millimeters per minute all the way to 3000 millimeters per minute on both sides. So you can see the difference. I did this one. This was a speed at 300, 1000 and 2000 all done at 100% power. And you can see over on this side, 100% power with a speed of 500 and a speed of 1000 but the line interval, you can see the difference. You can actually see the lines. It's hard to get because they're so tiny. But you can see that 0.8 to 0.3 makes a huge amount of difference. So next I tried out the piece of copper and I did the same power test. Just going from 20% power all the way up to 100 and 50 speed all the way up to 1000. And you can see the difference that it made and the image of Yoda I did over here, this was done at 2000 millimeters per minute and I did a line interval of 0.06. So I probably could have slowed this down to a thousand and made that come out even better, but overall I'm quite happy with it. On the back side here I did the skull, two skulls actually. This one was done at 0.08 line interval and the speed was a thousand. The same one I did the speed at 1000 and the line interval was 0.04 and you can see the difference that it makes. Both were done at 100% power. But I think that came out absolutely awesome so I'm super happy with how that turned out. So I also did a piece of copper with the same one that I did on the aluminum. With This is 300, 1000 and 2000 millimeters per minute. And this was all done at 0 0.04 interval at 100% power. And it's kind of hard to see much of a difference. There is, but it's really faint. So even at 2,000 millimeters per minute, this still turned out really good. 300, yeah, that's really dark. It's really nice. 1,000 is really nice. And 2,000, they're all really, really good. So the difference with copper and aluminum, you can see how much lighter it kind of is on the aluminum than it is on the copper. Next, I tried this out on a piece of stainless steel. And you can see how well that turned out and how dark that is. This was done at 1,000 millimeters per minute at 0 0.03 interval at 100% power. And I think that is perfect. I also went ahead and tried this on some zinc. And you can see all the fine detail that how that came out. This was just one of the zinc coins that I poured. So it worked great on there as well. So I decided to try this on one of my ingot bars that I poured a while back. And as you can see, I think that came out absolutely amazing. That's not coming off. That's in there really, really good. And again, this isn't a hundred percent flat. There are some spots that are, that are a little shallower than others, but Overall, I think that worked perfectly. So after that, I tried out this Zippo, which is chrome plated, which this one I did at 500 millimeters per minute at a 0 0.03 interval. And you can see how well that actually turned out. I think that is awesome. So then I tried out this steel washer and this was done at a thousand millimeters 
per minute, and this was done with a line, not a fill. And I'll see if I can get in here really close. But you can see all the fine detail and how well that actually works. And this is just a plain old washer that I had sitting in my garage. But yeah, I think that came out awesome. I love the color of this. I think that is great. So then I ran one more test on one of my big ingots. And you can see how cool that is. And this one was done at 1,000 millimeters per minute at a 0 0.04 interval with 100% power. And this one isn't 100% flat. There is some divots in here just from sanding it and everything, which is why some of the spots are lighter than the others. It didn't focus completely since I focused it more or less on the side and not really in the middle. But I think that came out awesome, and the look of that I think is really, really cool. So what do I think about this laser? I think this is absolutely 100% awesome, and I will be using this for so many more projects and things that I do down the road. As you saw, it does aluminum, copper, brass, steel, stainless steel, zinc, everything just fine. I mean, the amount of detail that you can get from this laser and how finely detailed it is with a compression spot of 0 0.03, I think that is amazing, absolutely amazing. If you're interested in purchasing this laser, I will put a link down in the description on where you can pick this up, along with the X-Tool machine itself, the 20 watt laser, and some of the other accessories that go along with it. Well, that's it for this video, everyone. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Ring the bell. Get notified of all the new videos that come out. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.